Hello everybody, how is it going today? I'm going to show you how to reamp using your Axe Effects 2 in Studio One 3. Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to reamp using Studio One 3 and your Axe Effects 2. So here we have the DI. This is the DI that we're going to reamp. I'm going to actually, I'll let you hear it. This is what we're going to reamp. So you're not going to actually be able to hear the physical reamping going on. You're going to be able to see it, but the way everything works, I'm not going to be able to actually let you hear it in real time. You'll, I'll let you hear it after the fact. So the very first thing you need to do before you do anything else is see this little button right here? Click it. What this does is it turns off all of your plugins that you have. You don't want to reamp with your plugins on because it'll affect the actual tone that that you that you get when you reamp. So once you do that, once you actually turn the uh, turn all your plugins off, what you want to do is you come to you add a track right here. Make sure it is a stereo track. You only want one of them. I'm gonna call it reamp wet. And what I mean by wet, this is the track that's gonna have the actual audio information on it. The track that's not gonna be that's not a DI. And what you want to do is you want to set that track to record and you take off the monitoring. So what it's going to do is you're going to feed that, the, what you're going to tell the Axe Effects to do is use this is the data and put the wet signal here. Now the way I have it set up is I have my Axe Effects um, running through my uh, Focusrite interface so I can actually hear where the reamping is going on through my monitors. So what you want to do after you actually have this all set up Go to your Axe Effects, hit your I.O. button, hit the page and go to the right, and when you go to the input, you want to set the input to USB only. What this does is it's going to, all the stuff from, the information from your Axe is going to come through on USB. Then once you do that, come to Settings, Audio Interface Options, and you're going to set it to FAS USB Audio. Now, the um, sampling rate of the Axe Effects is 48 locked, so you see it tells you that it's okay. And that's totally fine. If your session's in 44 and it's in 48, it'll automatically convert it for you. Which it's, you see it did it and it stopped. So, um, if you're on a bigger session, it may kind of bug you down. This is a little bit of a smaller session that I have. So, now that the Axe Effects is set up, the and now whenever you make this, make sure it's a stereo track. Because this is the important part. Come to the top of the track that you want the wet signal to go on, meaning the actual physical audio and set it to 1 and 2. This is the stereo output on the Axe Effects. This is what's going to actually give you the audio. The 3 and the 4 on the Axe Effects, that is actually, um, it's the DI's watch. I'll show you if you come in the, I think it's, uh, it's one of these. As you can get to, no, I don't want to save one. Control panel, is this it? No. Song setup? No. Here it is. Audio IO. This is what I wanted to get to. Look, see the one on the two right here? That's the actual physical one, and the this is set on three, but the three and the four right here, that is your DI. So you can record DIs with the Axe Effects if you want. So, once you have Studio One, three, set to the Axe Effects two, I'm trying to make this where it's confusing. This is when the actual reamping process can begin. So what you do is you solo the DI. You always want to solo what you want to record. The information that you want to put through the Axe, you solo that. Because if you don't, it'll start screeching, watch. It's not, it's not doing it, but it'll screech if you have a lot of tracks. So you turn off all your plugins, it's very important. You set it to the stereo, and what you do is you hit record. <laughs> So as you can see, that was the reamp. Then once you actually have it reamped, what you want to do is I'm going to change this to voice meter. This is how I can actually let you hear the stuff that's coming out of my DAW. Get it changed real quick if it ever decides to change itself. Okay, there we go. So now that we've done that, mute the DI because you don't want to hear the DI. And this is what we just actually reamped. Oh, wait. Before I do that, turn the plugins back on. Whoop. And 
ladies and gentlemen, that is how I reamp through Studio One Three using my Axfix Two. Now, there's a couple of other ways that you can do it, but this is the easiest way that I figured out. Now, if you have any questions, any comments, and concerns, leave them for me in the comments down below. As for me, I'm gonna have to be out. Peace.